First question is from E Stutz 10. Is there such a thing as too deep of a squat or is it only limited by one's mobility? You, If you go lower than your stability and control can handle, then it's too low. And so what does that look like? It depends. It depends on the person. For some, for some people, that may be parallel, may be too low for them because once they go parallel, they lose stability. They don't have the mobility to go low. Things break down and now it becomes an exercise where the injury risk is too high or they're strengthening their, their a recruitment pattern that isn't favorable. So it really depends on your mobility. But if you have phenomenal strength, mobility, and stability, going as low as you possibly can is totally fine. It's pretty much limitless. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. I, I, I This is where I see value in like using your phone to record yourself. I know that looks really super douchey in the gym when people do this. It's but the, the new norm. It, it, but it is. Yeah, it's become such the norm that I do see places where there's value to this. And, you know, assessing your squat and looking at it and saying like – and being able to be objective and going, hey – that something's not right there. This doesn't look really nice or your hips are moving or you have a butt wink or your mm. head's fo protruding forward or your elbows aren't underneath your wrist. Like, you know, there's a lot of things that could be breaking down that maybe while you're in the, the, the moment of getting the weight up and you're focused on that, you're not really seeing it, that mm. I think there's a lot of value in you looking at your squat and saying, okay, <clears throat> there's breakdown here. It's not a good squat because – I mean, if you look at Olympic lifters, who are probably the best example of like full depth squats, oh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Olympic lifters at the bottom of their squat, it's beautiful. I mean, it, I mean, if you look at the the mechanics of it and the, look at to take a snapshot of what they look like at the very the deepest point, um, and look at what their squat looks like, it is. I mean, the way their their torso, the way their posture is, where their head and neck is, the way their feet are, the where their mm -hmm. knees are at, where their hips are positioned. Uh, the bar path, all those things, that is like the most beautiful squat. And now mine does not look like that, but I'm always working towards that. And I'm always picking myself apart when it's when something is off and there's work to be done there. And so this is where I think that everybody at some point should do this. Like at some point, whether you, you prop it up yourself or you have a spouse or a friend or somebody record your squat and then really pick it apart. And if you don't, okay, if you don't have good form all the way down when you hit acid grass, then there's there's work to there's work to be right. done. Now the counter I'll hear people say is, oh, I know people who Olympic lift and they've got injuries. You've got knee pain and they blew out this and they blew out that. What you need to understand, by the way, is that especially competitive lifters, people who compete and lifting, they're pushing their bodies yeah, they're to stretching the, their capacity. Absolutely, well, you, know, you know that sounds like to me is like somebody who points out a NASCAR driver who wrecks every once Correct. In a while. Yeah. It's like Correct. so you don't feel safe driving with him. Yeah, and a normal know, road. Yeah, and a normal car <laughs> yeah. and a normal road. Exactly. Like, no, of course not. The guy's a professional and he's pushing the limits. You yeah. know, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think too. Like, I mean, we have we have like a test that you can do, uh, where we have a stick that goes down your back, and you, you could get all these uh, points of contact established. Really, to, to to hyper focus is is crucial for me. Like through something like a squat, so that way you know where the breakdown starts to occur, and you can kind of set uh, you know thresholds and limitations uh, for yourself to to work on. And so I want to stay uh, in that spot where I feel like. You know, I, I was I was I was releasing those those pressure points, and now I want to work on that specifically. If you're trying to figure this out, or this is a question you're asking yourself, like, and you have not taken the MapsPrimeWebinar.com, if you have not gone through that, where Justin takes you through this full assessment, what he's what he's talking about right now, it's absolutely free. Okay, it's free. You go on that website, click it, watch it. It'll take about. 45, 50 minutes of your time. You'll figure out a lot of issues, yes. a lot of ways to fix your mobility issues and get a better squad. And what that is, that's that's part of our MAPS Prime. So I know like one of the best and worst things that we ever did, right? So the here's the the, the dumb thing that Mind Pump did when we first started. We were really, um, we this is our massive egos. We really believe oh, no. that we're going to change the world so much that we decided to create our own lexicon, right? So we're going to fucking change <laughs> terms, right? Yeah. When really Maps Prime, what Maps Prime is and what it represents, by the way, and that this webinar gives you a taste of that and gives you a, a big portion of that, is it's the assessment portion of being a personal trainer. Every good personal trainer does a a, a full assessment on somebody's movement before they take the microscope. If not, run. 
Okay, if your trainer does not assess the way you squat, hinge, move, rotate before they take you on a bunch of exercises and they don't do that to you, get the fuck out of there because that's not a good. That's trainer. like a mechanic not looking at your car before they right, start telling right. you what to fix. So that really that that program is what like the beginning of everything looked like for us. It's just a combination of all three of us. It's all three of our minds of the things that we thought were the most valuable things that we wanted to assess on a, on a client's movement before we put them into any program. And so that's what it really is. So if you, if you don't own it at the bare minimum, get your ass over to the, the, the prime pro or the maps prime webinar and watch it for free.